So hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tech channel. And in this video, we will try to complete our category page. The first thing I wanted to do is instead of hard coding the image, I wanted to use the real image. Okay, just like we did on a product detail page. So in the product detail page, what we did that the first thing we created, uh, I mean, we made our uploads folder as a static folder and put all the images related to the product inside the product images folder. And later on, we consume it, okay? using the static folder method, okay? Similarly, I have put all the images related to the category page inside a categories folder, okay? Similar, just like uh, we have to use our server, as of now I'm using a local host, then we have to use uploads folder, I mean uploads route, then inside we have a categories folder. And inside the categories folder, we have to use the exact name. The name from where we are getting the name, if you remember that we have put a field called image URL inside on our each category object, inside the main category object, inside the subcategory object also we have put the image URL field and we are going to consume it. Okay. So for that, what will going to be the URL? The URL will going to be this. Okay. And let's go on our here instead of using the asset we will use a network image and instead of using a set image path we are going to use a network image path and here we will not hard code the main.png instead of that we will use our main category dot image url to get the actual image url so in main category we already have this image url key which we are getting from the backend okay this one okay so if i will hit the save and then you will find that all the images are replaced with the actual images but here one thing you have noticed that the image width is kind of messy here all are not perfect here so let's fix this width and what I will do, I will add a width parameter over here and let's fit the width to the 50. Okay. Okay, let's use 70, I guess. Okay. So this is our uh, image. Okay. I know that uh, 70, let's use at least 80. So at least all are the replace or we can use 100 width okay so yeah that's great instead of 100 let's use 80 only and uh, so kind of image i got from the internet which is not perfect size so each each one each one of them have should uh, perfect height and width but they have a different height and width that's why it's uh, not looking great but yeah at least we are able to replace with the actual images men have their own image kids have their own women have their own home and living and rest of the thing have their own images okay now if i expand the next thing i wanted to fix is i wanted to fix this color instead of having this blue color after expanding i wanted to have the same black color for that every expansion tile have a text color property we are going to use the colors dot black over here and the second thing we wanted to do is uh, I wanted to apply icon color for that let me just refresh the page any changes we will do over here will not reflect okay so now it got the black color but I should change the icon color as well for that what I will do I will use a icon color colors dot black colors dot black okay uh, to see the changes i had to refresh the page let's not refresh it just like we did for the main category let's do for the subcategory as well and if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet please do subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me okay please also comment on a video so it will boost my motivation okay so yeah let's do the same for our uh, this page also I will do the same. I will use HTTP colon slash slash localhost 
we are running on a 5000 port slash uploads folder and slash categories folder now here also in each subcategory object we are getting our image url so i'm going to use the same over here and if i will hit the save then all the thing will change but it is giving an issue okay let's go over here let's copy the this thing uh, might be i just uh, use a wrong okay let's hit the save okay and the next thing i wanted to do is i have to use our network image okay hit the save yeah now everything is changed top wear food wear and the rest of the thing i think for the ethnic wear i should get a ethnic um dot jpg ethnic wear is this ethnic wear okay let me just refresh the page okay i'm getting this okay and uh, the next thing we have to do over here is also how to add a width okay let's add width around 40 okay that's great everyone got a width let's do it as a 30 okay that's great um i can restrict the height also over here instead of taking the whole height of the tile let's use a height of what will be the height our main height have 125 so let's use around 80 or uh, let's use 90 at least so that will be great okay perfect and uh, the next thing is instead of having this horizontal 10 if what if i will add 5 okay let's add 10 only yeah everything is working fine and uh, we can move ahead for adding the app bar okay so once we expand we have this kind of thing uh, let's apply the same kind of logic we applied instead of turning blue let's not turn it to the blue okay let me go on expansion tile let me add this color and let me refresh the page if i will go it will not turn blue okay um let's add at least app bar first then we will fix later something else so app bar will look like this it have a category text it have the this uh wish list and it have this one okay and uh, okay rest of the thing are okay so let's do it so the first thing i wanted to do i will go on a categories dot dart file and every scaffold again will going to have an app bar let's use our app bar and uh, let's uh, what it is not app color it will be app bar okay uh, let's add a title title will going to be a text widget and the text will going to be categories hit the save the app bar will come we will use a cons over here because it's not a dynamic text and we will come to the styling part later let's uh, use a leading um, not leading um, center title as a false because we wanted to start from the beginning here you can see that it's coming from the beginning yes it has some kind of padding so we can add a padding widget over here instead of just a normal text i can wrap it with the padding widget okay so it will okay so we have app inside a container that will also work we can add a padding on a container edge inset dot original uh symmetric sorry and i will give a horizontal padding around 20 let's hit the save that come let's give a 10 perfect let's add a const over here because again it's static padding so it won't matter and uh, let's come to the style part and uh, let's use a text style and uh, the first thing we encounter is the 
uh, phone size phone size should be around 16 and the next thing will going to be a font weight the font weight should be around like 600 okay and uh, we can come to the color as well the color will going to be colors dot white colors dot white and uh, it should have some kind of opacity so i will add 70 okay and the same thing goes for the background color of the app bar we don't have a background color you can see that it's just a white color so let's use colors dot white okay and yeah the color of this uh, will going to be not white it will going to be a black with some opacity hit the save and see the changes okay it got it um but the kind of elevation we have i just wanted to reduce it for that what i will do every app bar also have elevation if i will use zero then it's looking good okay uh yeah the elevation is now gone and uh, instead of using black 87 let's use some 45 yeah that is also looking good 45 yeah or we can increase a little bit to 54 okay so we added our category title and now we need to add two action one is the wish list second is the bag and for that what i will do every uh, app bar have a special uh, property called action inside the action we can put multiple icon button so here i'm going to use icon button on press will going to be a normal function over here icon and it will be a icons dot favorite okay so first thing and it will be outline as well we have used in lot of places so yeah so here we are getting some kind of issue Okay, let's add a comma to begin with the indentation and it it should have a color as well because otherwise it will by default will take a white color i will going to use a black color over here okay and that added and uh, the second icon button will going to be let me put a cons over here as of now and uh, let me just copy the second thing I just forgot the name of the color badge outline no that will not be a badge outline it's it was bag or office something I just forgot but we have used on a home page right so let's go on a product page i just forgot the name of the icon what was that it was it was shopping bag outline okay so let's me use it's here also let's go here and let's hit the save so that two thing is now added uh wish list and this one let's see what exactly we are we are aligned with the ui or not we have a categories and we have this two thing um, similarly we have a categories and we have this two thing which is scrollable okay perfect everything is working fine we have this one and uh, this one yeah and uh to do this thing i mean the on tab let's add on tab as well over here on the list tiles so as of now on tab will going to be a empty function to see the ripple effect i just wanted to see the ripple effect okay ripple effect is also working okay so that's great actually we covered a lot here and uh, 
we are perfect to add a functionality once we will click in one of the cart then we will go on a this kind of page where we will fetch the data related to their own categories okay uh, remember in a product detail we have added a category field and we will consume it now and we will do it in the next video till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to make more videos let's see you on next video